going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 23 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the monthly award program for the month of April. Show you how to get a free 99 overall Matt Chapman and break down the entire program for you. Now we are live recording from a hotel room in Vegas right now. That's how dedicated I am to get these videos out to you. So make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video. If you find it helpful, let's go through it. So there's more than just the monthly award, April monthly award program that dropped today. We'll cover everything, uh, but this is going to be the main thing that we're focusing on. Uh, first off, though, it is a double XP weekend. So season one XP reward path does expire in six days, 23 hours. If you still haven't maxed it out like me, now is definitely the time there. And if you go back to the main, you know, Diamond Dynasty menu here and look upwards, we have until May 12th now around noon Pacific time to take advantage of that double XP. So if you're grinding through this brand new program, obviously you're going to be earning XP by doing that. And it's a great opportunity to earn double XP as well by doing so. Uh, you can see some of the featured rewards here for this program. So if we go into other programs, you're going to go to April monthly awards and we'll scroll all the way to the end here. This is the 99 overall Matt Chapman card that you can earn for free and they changed the way that this program works slightly and they change it for the better the moving card art on this by the way is phenomenal like some of the most fire stuff i've ever seen absolutely love it can't wait to see it every every month now at this point card looks pretty good i mean it's diamond hitting diamond defense 125 contact against life left 114 against right pretty good power numbers is there uh, as well the vision a bit low at 80 but you know we got to take away some things i guess decent speed at 82 as well third base by uh, a third base normally and then second shortstop is a secondary position so there's a bunch of other featured rewards I'm not going to break all of these down as always you can go through the reward path and either either hit Y on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation and see all of the attributes on them I do just want to kind of focus on the 98s though and of course the 99 overall Matt Chapman that we just showed you um, and then there's a bunch of other 97 and 95 overall cards now as far as earning these program stars to max it out you need to get to 150 it can all be done offline if that's the way that you choose to play you can also earn rewards online with the current event that's going on so you can see here every time that you win a game in the April monthly awards event which is live right now you're going to get yourself one program star but if you don't want to go that route you don't have to so you got statistical missions um, these are going to require that you have April monthly award players in the lineup there is a note on here as well that Captain Carlos Santana is included and then Captain and Mark Pryor. Those are two cards that you earn very early on within this reward path. And you can see that there's various star amounts here. There are actually seven for each one, seven program stars. So you got a total of 35 from the statistical missions that you can get. Then you have PXP missions. So these are going to be based on putting April monthly award players in your lineup here. Pryor and Santana also going to be included in this category. And for the most part, you're getting three program stars for the majority of these. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom the higher overalls are going to give you five program stars and then there's a just bigger overall mission with all monthly award players i backed out of it accidentally um when you get 5,000 pxp with all of the april monthly award players you get another 20 program stars so you got 79 stars total from the pxp mission section and then you have a bunch of moments i think there were a total of 18 total moments in here two stars each so you got another 36 program stars from completing the moments this is always a great start starting point because you don't have to have a diamond dynasty team at all to do these if you just picked up the game today you can knock all of these out and you'll get yourself 36 stars and if you look at you know the rewards here for 36 stars you're getting yourself then two diamonds in these two players a bunch of 95s as well and these are choice packs but you're going to earn this pack five different times so just make sure you don't pick the same player twice or you're going to be sol you got to pay attention to detail there but you'll eventually be able to get all of these 95s and like I said, if you play all of the moments, you're going to get three 95 overall cards, actually four 95 overall cards, plus the two 95 overall team captains. So there are six cards that you can use towards those PXP missions as soon as you're done with the moments. And that's a pretty good strategy to attack it right off the rip to get.
get these free cards and work yourself towards the bigger overall cards. Eventually, you're going to get up to these 97 overall choice packs, and there are six different players to choose from. I believe you get all six of these as well because you're going to get this pack six times. Let me just confirm that. Yes. And there's other packs in between, stubs, PXP, things of that nature. Now, one other thing I just want to point out, it's the collection, which is optional, but if you've been doing your April Tops Now programs, and they did update that today, I'm going to show it to you in a moment. I would recommend doing this because these cards are already no sell anyway. So collecting them, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to be the end of the world, right? Because you can't do anything with these cards anyway. So if you've done the April tops now and you got all of the cards, these two that I don't have are in the new update to the April tops now, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, you get 15 program stars. Now, what that basically means is that you're going to get a nice little jump start there and you can knock out, you know, you can get the 15 and that's going to give you, I think, three players right you'll get both the captains and then one of the 95s then you can start working towards the moments and then you know eventually the statistical missions and the px missions but basically if you do the collection you're gonna have an extra 15 stars so you don't have to do all of the statistical missions or pxp missions there's going to be a few that you can skip so i personally again would would go ahead and do the collection even though it's optional because it's going to get you this quicker and you get a quicker jump start on it then if you look at the april tops now like if you haven't started at this uh, this at all you might just want to skip it at this point it's going to be a lot of work and you don't need it to get the april monthly player uh done as we mentioned with the statistical missions the pxp missions and the moments you can get to the 150 but if you have been doing these go ahead and do that collection uh the new content today dropped a bunch of you know 91 92 93 94 and then 295 overalls it's going to break down the same way that it's been working all month here but once you get these 295s these are the final two cards that you would need to finish out the collection within the player of the month program. I mentioned the event that is going to earn you one program star per win for the monthly awards program. Well, if you go into it and you can see the rules here that you can, uh, the players that you can use, the max overall, the min overall, three inning games on all star. Um, with the rewards, you got a couple free diamonds, and these are all set one cards, by the way. So if you're trying to grind towards the free content like a Chipper Jones and Jazz Chisholm and Trey Turner, a bunch of free set one cards will absolutely help you get to that 140 mark or even above that but you get a 95 overall Matt Carpenter and then you have another 97 overall tops now Sean Manea so two more free cards there and it's going to require 20 wins within this event so if you want to play it you can if you don't want to you don't have to but there's a couple set one cards you can get for free from it and there's also a rewind pack at five wins that's going to let you pick one of the older cards from the previous events world baseball classic the moonshot I can't remember what this one was from the charisma one I believe it was for the Gary Sheffield and Vinny Castilla uh, but the basically if you missed that one of those cards you can go back and get it. We do have a brand new conquest map to play through as well the Seattle Mariners Nike City Connect uniform map. Uh, the main reason you would want to play through this like you know it's going to have your normal free and hidden packs within there. Uh, for the most part the rewards are just really featuring on Mariners uh, vanity items if you will but the free hidden packs are always worth it and beating this it's, it's a nice playground. I love to say here for earning pxp on those april tops now so you know you knock out the collection you knock out the moments you got a bunch of players you throw them into your lineup and then go through and knock out this conquest map as you're playing these games you're going to be earning pxp with those players and you're kind of double dipping getting some free packs getting the contents that are in the the rewards the goal section within this map and then also earning that pxp towards you know the 150 stars for your monthly program as far as packs go and the store updates we have two 99 overall charisma players we're up to number 13 pack number 13 of diamond duos save your stubs just buy the cards if you happen to want either of these they're just not worth taking the risk of 40,000 stubs but here is the 99 overall rod Carew. that's one of the cards featured in there charisma card and of course it's also a set one card and then lance lynn is the other diamond 99 overall charisma card that you might be able to find in those packs but if you're interested in the cards again just go buy them save yourself some stubs there 
It's just not worth it in the long run unless you have the most incredible pack luck in the world. Uh, so I think we covered everything. Double XP, the brand new April monthly awards program, the April Tops Now update. Uh, we went over the show shop items there. And here is the schedule for upcoming events. Remember, big roster update a week from today and then the season two launch a week from today. Next Friday is going to be a huge day. Don't know if we're getting content on Tuesday, but that's all we got for now. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.